there my friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project here in my shed in Worcester and as you can see it is slowly turning into a museum of butchery just check out all those fantastic tools behind me and my lovely presses down here I've got loads of kit I want to show you but that will be in another video today I am going to do a video on how to clean and maintain a butcher's block it has got to be one of the most asked questions I get, you know, how do we properly clean it and maintain it and keep it hygienic? Now, there is not a lot out there on the web on the butcher's block side of it. Yes, there is tons of stuff out there on the cutting board you have in your kitchen, but there is nothing, no videos on how to properly clean a butcher's block. Now, luckily enough, I was gifted a butcher's block. How cool is that? by a good friend of mine who I've known for 26 years, Michael Jacobs, thank you my friend. He said, I've got a butcher's block for you. It's a bit old, it's a bit dirty, it needs a decent clean. So I thought, what a great subject to use to show you how we clean and maintain a butcher's block. So I will set up the camera then, get the block ready, and we will do this. But in the meantime, just check out that old kit. Okay then, I want you to take a good look at that block, a fantastic block. This is a half butcher's block with a half poly top table as well, gifted to me by my mate. What a diamond. So what we need to do then, first of all, hot soapy water, we're just going to give it a wipe over. Now I want you to pay attention to how this block looks now and how it's going to look when we finish. There might be a bit of rattling, excuse that, I cannot do anything about that. But we get some water on. Now this is the traditional old school method of cleaning a block. You give a good, good wipe with soapy water and then you get some sawdust. When I was a Saturday lad starting, you know, they give you those big six foot blocks and they put the sawdust on for you and they'd be like, Right, go for it. Now what you're looking for is it to be white when it's scrubbed. So you get your block brush, which you can buy from any sundryman made of metal, and then you just go to town on it and you scrub it. It's gonna get noisy in here, so I will turn the sound off and play a little bit of music. But we're gonna scrub this, get it nice and clean. Okay then, so you can basically see what we've done there is we've rubbed, using the sawdust, all the gunk, all the rubbish off there, so it's nice and clean. Oh man, I don't miss this. I must lay off the cheroots. Once you've got it nice and clean, get a brush and brush it all off. You can see how different that looks now. Get it from there. And obviously you could do this with the sides as well. That's looking fine and dandy. So, with our cloth, we will just give it a wipe over. And then we will wait just a few minutes for that to soak in and dry and then we will do the next part of the cleaning. So as you can see then, that is looking better already. Now we have cleaned that, obviously with our hot soapy water, we've put our sawdust on, we've used that designated block brush, and what that does is take up all the old debris and all bits of 
when you've used it will be meat and fat. Next, cleaning, we need to maintain it. Now these will get dry over time, so you need to put something on to seal it. And the best thing going is mineral oil. This is food grade mineral oil. Now, don't be tempted to use any cooking oils, vegetable oils, anything like that, olive oil, because it will go rancid. You know, you want this chemical free mineral oil to get a good seal. Now, if you've got a dry block, this will drink all this up. But you just put a bit on and then just start working it in to your block. And you'll notice, especially where it's been used there, that it will go in straight away. Now, you wanna be doing this once a month and if it sinks straight in, add a little bit more and work it into all that grain. And you'll know when it's had enough to drink because it will pool on the top. But as you can see, from what we started with to what we've got now is a nice clean hygienic block. Now I'm going to leave that for a few minutes just to soak in. Before I think I'll put just a little bit more here. Now this mineral oil can be quite expensive so go to your local chemist or pharmacy or drugstore they might sell it because I know it's used as a laxative, so you might get it cheaper there. I think that is looking tip top. And it will give it a lovely deep amber color. Right, so I'll let that dry. Then we will check it. Well, as you can see then, I've just left that for five minutes. There's just a little bit of damp pulled there. I'm gonna rub that in. And that pretty much is how you clean and maintain your block. Now remember what it looked like at the start. Yeah, it wasn't too dirty, but it was dry. So we washed it, we scrubbed it, and then we rubbed in some mineral oil, and that is a perfect job. Now the same goes with your kitchen boards, obviously, Give it a good wash down with soapy water. If you've got a scraper, just give it a scrape. Don't use the brush. And then again, with the mineral oil. But that has come out absolutely perfect. And if you do this every time you use your butcher's block, wipe it down, sawdust on and scrub it. And then every month, give it a good dose of mineral oil. This will last you for life. And do buy a block brush. I think that cost me 20 quid, but that will outlive me. So, you know, it's well worth doing it. These ain't cheap, unless you get given one and you need to look after it. That will last for years. And that is how you clean a butcher's block. And if you've liked what you see here today on the Scott Reed Project, guys and girls, please, please click subscribe. You know the button, that red thing down there. Also find me on my social media. You'll see the icons down there, Facebook, Scott Reed, the Scott Reed Project, and on Twitter, at the Scott Reed Project. So, till next time, this is all nice and clean, ready for my next video. I'll see you again. Take care.